Hi, this is Asin. You are now watching Asin Mad TV. Today, I would like to share the Marilyn series of e to the power of sine x. As you share the let fx be equal to the function, which is e to the power of sine x. At point x is equal to 0, sine 0 is 0, e to the power of 0 is 1. Let's differentiate the function with respect to x. We can differentiate the function by using chain rule, or simply differentiate this function by using a simple hack. Since this is exponential function, all we have to do is firstly copy exactly the same and now differentiate the power and obtain cos x. At point x is equal to 0, cos 0 is equal to 1, which means that we have 1 times 1 equal to 1. Let's differentiate the function with respect to x for the second time. We can apply the product rule and differentiate the function or using a simple hack since this is a product of functions involving exponential function. What we have to do here is copy exactly the exponential function, which is e to the power of sine x, and now make a bracket and copy the rest of the function, which is cos x. And we should differentiate this function and obtain negative sine x. Lastly, is obtain the derivative of the power of this exponential function and multiply to the first term in the bracket. So we have cos x. Simplify and we should obtain e to the power of sine x times cos squared x minus sine x. At point x is equal to 0, we have 1 times 1 minus 0, which is equal to 1. Let's continue to differentiate the function with respect to x for the third time. Also, follow the simple hack. Firstly, copy the exponential function, which is e to the power of sine x, and now make a bracket. And copy the rest of the functions. We have cos squared x minus sine x, since we have two terms, so we need bracket. And now differentiate them. Differentiate cos squared x. Our brain down, we have 2. Our last one, 2 minus 1 is 1, which means that we have cos to the power 1x, or simply cos x. Differentiate cos is negative sine. Differentiate negative sine x, we obtain negative cos x. Don't forget to obtain the derivative of the power, so we have cos x here. Simplify, we should obtain e to the power of sine x times cos squared x times cos x, which is cos cubed x minus sine x times cos x minus 2 cos x sine x, which is negative 3 sine x times cos x lastly minus cos x if we wish to use the symbol here for the rest of the derivative we shouldn't have any product of two different functions within the bracket so we should convert this function recall the double angle identity for the sine function sine 2 x is equal to 2 sine x cos x which means that 3 sine x multiplied with cos x is equal to 3 over 2 sine 2 x. And now we can rewrite this function as e to the power of sine x multiply cos to the power of 3 x minus 3 over 2 sine 2 x minus cos x. And hence, at point x is equal to 0, we have 1 times 1 minus 0 minus 1, which is equal to 0. Let's continue to differentiate the function with respect to x for the fourth time. Again, by using the simple half, firstly copy the exponential function e to the power of sine x, make a bracket, and copy the rest of the functions. We have cos cube x minus 3 over 2 sine 2 x minus cos x and differentiate them. Differentiate cos cube x, we have negative 3 cos squared x times sine x. Differentiate negative 3 over 2 sine 2 x is negative 3 cos 2 x. Differentiate negative cos x is positive sine x. Don't forget to obtain the derivative of the power of this exponential function, so we have cos x here. And now let's simplify, so we have e to the power of sine x times cos cube x times cos x, which is cos to the power 4x minus 3 over 2 sine 2 x times cos x minus cos x times cos x, which is cos squared x minus 3 cos squared x times sine x minus 3 cos 2x plus sine x. Again, we shouldn't have any product within the bracket, so let's simplify it. So we have e to the power of sine x times cos to the power 4x. Recall the product sum identity, which means that for this term, we should have negative 3 over 2 times 1 over 2, which is negative 3 over 4 sine a plus b, simply 2x plus x, which is 3x. And for the second term, we have negative 3 over 2 times 1 over 2, also negative 3 over 4. And this time, we have a minus b, which means that we should have sine 2x minus x, which is x, followed by minus cos squared x. Again, we have product of two functions. Let's change it. 
Recall the trigonometric identity, which means that for this term we should have negative 3 times 1 times sine x, which is minus 3 sine x, followed by negative 3 times negative sine square x times sine x, negative negative positive 3 sine cube x. And for the rest of the terms, since single function, so we can copy exactly the same, so we have minus 3 cos 2x plus sine x. Let's simplify so we have e to the power of sine x times cos to the power of 4x minus 3 over 4 sine 3x minus 3 over 4 sine x minus 3 sine x plus sine x which is minus 11 over 4 sine x. Then we have minus cos squared x plus 3 sine cube x minus 3 cos 2x. And for a point x is equal to 0, we have 1 times 1 minus 0 minus 0 minus 1 plus 0 minus 3. And this is equal to negative 3. And we should now differentiate the function with respect to x for the fifth time. Also, follow the simple hack, copy the explanation function, e to the power of sine x, make a bracket and copy the rest of the functions, and differentiate them. Differentiate cos power 4x is negative 4 cos cube x times sine x. Differentiate negative 3 over 4 sine 3x is negative 9 over 4 cos 3x. Differentiate negative 11 over 4 sine x is negative 11 over 4 cos x. Differentiate negative if cos squared x is positive 2 cos x times sine x. Differentiate 3 sine cube x is equal to positive 9 sine squared x times cos x. Differentiate negative 3 cos 2x is positive 6 sine 2x. And don't forget to differentiate the power of this exponential function, and we should obtain cos x. Since we have obtained 1, 2, 3, 4 non zero terms, if the value at point x is equal to 0 for this derivative is also non zero, basically we can stop here. Unless the question requested for more than 5 terms, which means that without simplifying this complicated function, we can now evaluate the value value at point x equal to 0. So we have 1 times 1 minus 0 minus 0 minus 1 plus 0 minus 3 times 1 minus 0 minus 9 over 4 minus 11 over 4 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0. Which means that at point x is equal to 0, we have negative 8. With these values, we can now form the Marilyn series of e to the power of sine x. Firstly, we have 1, and this is for the original function or 0 order. So we over 0 factorial times x to the power of 0, followed by 1 as well. So we have 1, but this is for the first derivative or the first order. So we have 1 factorial x to the power of 1, followed by 1 as well, but this this is for the second order 2 factorial x to the power of 2 followed by 0 anything times 0 we get back 0 basically we can ignore this term and the next value which is negative 3 and this is for the fourth derivative so 4 factorial x to the power of 4 and the last value negative 8 this is for the fifth derivative so 5 factorial x to the power of 5 and so on Let's evaluate the value and we should obtain 1 plus x plus 1 over 2x squared minus 1 over 8x to the power 4 minus 1 over 15x to the power 5 and so on and hence with that. Okay, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this. See you.